Hello ladies, it is Tiffany of Clarity Confidence Courage Women's Empowerment and I'm coming to you today with the juicy topic that I want to bring up because I know you're going to be able to relate. Ladies, it's about being a powerhouse and doing all this amazing stuff because you're an amazing woman for other people. <laughs> yes, ladies, I'm going to talk about the tendency for us to be an amazing woman and show up for everyone else and hold space for everyone else, but when it comes to ourselves, uh, not so much. I want to talk about why we do this and how we can start stepping up for ourselves. Now, ladies, as always, make sure you share, like, and subscribe this video so other women just like you can find this information and change their lives for the better. Okay, ladies, have you ever been in a situation where you're either in your career or working for an organization or volunteering with the group and people say things about you like, oh, she's a powerhouse, she's amazing, she's a go-getter, she's a hard worker. Oh, you know, pick Nancy, pick Kelly, pick Tasha, pick, pick Jordan, because they're gonna work really hard. They're gonna do this amazing job for you. They're, they're go-getters, they're powerhouses. They get things done. Have you ever had that experience? If yes, raise your hand. Put a little emoji in the comments. Put a little smiley face emoji for me in the comments. If you've ever had someone talk about you in this way, whether it was through email, you overheard them telling other people, or they say it right in front of your face, like she is amazing. This girl's a go-getter. She did this, 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 and this for us. And it was amazing. Have you ever had somebody do that? If so, leave a little happy face emoji in the comments. Ladies, the reason I bring this up is because if you are like me, if you are a driven female who, when it comes to getting work done for others in your career, you know, in volunteer work, in various organizations you've been in, you like to make sure you show up. You like to make sure you show up as your best. You may be the type of woman that has a high work ethic. When you say you're gonna do something, you get it done because that's who you are. That's part of your value system. When you tell people that you're gonna do something for them, you don't just do it, you do it to the highest level. And that's amazing, that's really, really awesome. However, in that circumstance, sometimes, maybe not all of you can agree with this, but I know I've experienced it. When it comes to yourself, when it comes to showing up on that high, high level for you, uh, you kind of back away. You know, you come up with all these excuses. You know, I have these goals I want to hit and tomorrow I'm going to work on it because today I've, you know, I'm just tired or today, you know, I need to really finish that project for, you know, my, my job and then I'll get to my stuff later. Or, you know, you, you, you think of all the reasons why you can't do it. Like, yeah, I mean, I did a good job for, you know, my school, my kids school, you know, that, that PTA group that I was in, but I couldn't do that for myself. I couldn't start my own business as a, as a mom, you know, as a parent, starting my own business on my own. I couldn't do that. I mean, I did it in the PTA group, but I, I couldn't do that for myself. You come up with all these reasons of why you can't be a driven, powerful, successful woman for yourself. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I hear this time and time and time again when I'm coaching my one-on-one -on -one clients these amazing, successful, beautiful women that when it comes to their careers, when it comes to organizations or things for their children, they're hitting it. They're getting the work done. People are saying that they're powerhouses and they're amazing and they're go-getters and they get shit done. But when it comes to themselves, they kind of, kind of take their time. They go at a turtle's pace, we'll say that, right? Again, if you, can, if you can relate, give me a little emoji below. Give me a, a little unicorn emoji below. Because ladies, I get it, I can relate. And so many of my one-on-one -on -one clients are going through the same thing. And ladies, it's not because they are not intelligent women and it's not because they're not driven and it's not because they're not super successful. I mean, I have coached some really financially successful women but when it comes to their own dreams of what makes their heart sing, what brings them joy, they drag, they drag. And I can relate because again, I was one of those women. I had to get a coach ladies years ago to start my business. And it wasn't because I wasn't intelligent. It wasn't because I wasn't a go-getter and I didn't have ideas. 
it was because of my mindset. This belief that, yeah, I can do it for others, but there's no way I could do that for myself. So ladies, why? Why do we so many times suffer from that? Well, the biggest issue that I know a lot of women face is imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is when you can be the world's most amazing expert at XYZ for a company or an organization. But when it comes to yourself, you don't believe that you are what other people believe that you are. You don't believe that you're a great entrepreneur the way other people say that you should be. Or you don't believe you're a great doctor, even though you've gone to college and you've gotten all these doctor degrees and you've done all your internships and residencies and people are telling you you're a great doctor, you still don't believe it. You don't believe you're a great lawyer or a great dentist or a great, you know, attorney or, or a great, you know, mom or a great wife. You don't believe those things, even though everybody is telling you like, oh my gosh, you're so amazing. You're an incredible chef. You're an incredible doctor. You're an incredible lawyer. You're an incredible daughter. You're an incredible wife. Your people are telling you this, but in your mind, you're like, no, I'm not. I mean, I'm okay. I'm not that great. No, I'm, you know, they're just trying to be nice. You come up with all these reasons why you're an imposter in your own life. Like you don't even really belong there. And so because of that, because of imposter syndrome, you end up making all these excuses and you rationalize why you can't do X, Y, Z, the thing that's going to take you to the next level. I see this so many times, ladies, so many times I saw it in myself and it took a long time for me to recognize that I was being a powerhouse go getter woman for everyone else but me. How many of you can, how many of you can relate to that? Leave me a little emoji or just, just hold up your hand in your house. <laughs> I can relate to it because that was me. So I get it. And in order to get over that imposter syndrome, in order to move forward in my life, I had to start actually asking myself, what do, what do I really want? What is it that's really going to make me happy? And then I started to reach out to people to help me because ladies, sometimes you can't pull yourself out of the muck. You have to ask for help, ask for assistance, ask for guidance from someone who has done it to help pull you back in and say, Hey, I got you. I've done this. You can do this too. And I'm going to help you. And then I had to come up with a plan, an action plan. Yes, ladies, you can do all the scripting, do all the journaling, do all the, the things that you, you think you should be doing mentally, which is great, but then you got to take action, inspired action. And once I did that, ladies, my whole life began to change. Now, I'm not saying I still don't have moments of imposter syndrome where things come up and I'm like, whoa, can I really do this? Even though I've done things similar to it before, but I work on my mindset daily. I work on the practice daily. I work on this journey daily to practice, to get myself ready, to be ready, to be ready for this amazing life, for this life that I've said that I wanted. So ladies, I want to do this video because I know so many of you that follow me, that watch me, that have reached out to me are in that space where you are powerhouse, go getter, successful, amazing women. And when it comes to your own dreams and your own desires, you step back and you shrink. And you say, I can't do that for myself. It's not going to happen for me or I'm not as good as they say I am. I get it. I understand. And I'm telling you right now, it's not true. You can be, have, and do whatever it is that you want in life. So I want to do this video to really speak to you. That woman who is watching, who knows who she is, who really wants to change her life and who is really ready to step into her own powerful life and do for herself just like she does for others. If you know that is you and you know you are ready to take your life to a whole nother level, then definitely click the link in the description and get on my free coaching strategy calendar so that we can set up a call absolutely free, talk through your challenges, talk to what's holding you back, possibly the imposter syndrome, 
and see how we can help you move forward. All right, ladies, it is Tiffany of Clarity Confidence Courage, Women's Empowerment.